and welcome to Let's Go Eat, the Hair Leaders podcast about eating and drinking in the bluegrass. I'm Janet Patton and I cover bourbon and craft beer and food. I'm Cheryl Truman. I cover business and features. And I'm Sally Shear, and I'm the Lifestyles and Business Editor. Well, happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Yes. We're here at Maria's Kitchen on North Broadway in Lexington, and we're going to be talking with them about the wonderful food they serve every day, not just today. You've eaten here a lot, right, Cheryl? <laughs> uh, yes. I a am, lot. <laughs> I am known here, and I am so happy we're here because, to me, this is like this, the jewel of the unknown jewel of Lexington. Um, this is uh, Maria's at uh, North Broadway and Loudon, across from the Dollar Tree, and it is wonderful. Um, you know, I, when I broke my arm and couldn't come here uh, for six weeks, I was terribly sad. But I mean, this is—I bet they were too. They, yeah, they were, it sounds and like they, it. they know me here. On, uh, but it's it's a it's a wonderful place, reasonably priced, very tasty. And authentic food and uh, it's benefiting a lot uh, from the traffic from from the neighborhood from Transylvania I was put onto this place when my uh, daughter was a student at Transylvania she and all her friends uh, came down here to eat so in any case I am delighted to be at Maria's on Cinco de Mayo so, so much more about the place we are today which is Maria's kitchen on North Broadway one of the jewels of Lexington certainly of North Lexington and with us are? My name is Dilemma, and this is my mother, Maria, and I'm here to translate. <laughs> um, could you tell me a little bit, how long have you been open here on we, North Broadway? We started in 1990, okay, in 2007, 2007, excuse me. Because this, this place has been many things before, it was a barbecue place and... Yes, it was a barbecue place, and before that we heard it was a dairy queen back in the day. So ah, we, okay, that, that would explain yeah. Yeah, the, the general look of the place. Um, tell me, what are your most popular items? I mean, I know what I get. I love the barbacoa, I love the, the steak burritos, I love the, the bean and cheese burritos, <laughs> and I love onions and cilantro. But what do most people order? <laughs> Usually, it, it varies with Americans and mm -hmm. Hispanics. Americans love the um, pork with green sauce, mm -hmm. the braised beef, which is a barbacoa, mm -hmm. and um, as well as, ¿qué más? Uh, um, the pastor adobada's marinated pork, so mm -hmm. they, and steak. And uh, tell me about barbacoa. Uh, what is in barbacoa? ¿Qué es lo que tiene la barbacoa? La barbacoa está condimentada con especias, con laurel, eh, uh, mejorana, uh, comino, pimienta, clavo. It has a lot of different spices to mm -hmm. it. Um, some of them are uh, cumin. Um, what is it called? I really don't know the exact translation mm -hmm. in English. All for of them, them, all of them delicious. <laughs> all of them delicious, particularly with cilantro and onion. You said Americans order particular things. Um, you also uh, have a lot of uh, Mexicans who, who come yeah. in to, to yeah. eat here. What what do they like to get? Usualmente que ordenan los mexicanos. Entonces, los mexicanos enchiladas, flautas, pollo a la plancha. Enchiladas, flautas are fried tacos that we sell, mm -hmm. um, and then they really order everything. Um, they don't have if they're here for lunch, they tend to order a gordita or burrito because it's mm -hmm. faster. But if they're here for dinner, they tend to get it just a bigger size plate. I see a lot of gorditas moving. Yes. The, yes. I, although yes. I've never had one, I'm, I'm more yes. of a burrito person. But yes, yes, the gorditas seem very popular. And finally, tell me about the tres leches cake. Do you make the tres leches cake? Very popular. Do you have that very often? Yes, sí. it is very popular. The pastel de tres leches aquí. Sí. Yes. Con la gente lo empezó a conocer. Los americanos lo empezaron a conocer aquí. Pues no sé si aquí en otros lugares, pero pues la persona que empezó a vender pastel de tres leches aquí fui yo. <laughs> well, she actually started selling through Mel Cakes a really long time ago, and uh -huh. the business, this business, was kind of to sell, uh, sell tres leches cake, but uh -huh. she realized that it really wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't going to be enough, so <laughs> she decided to take it over into the kitchen area, um, but 
the, the translations cake, she has been making them for a long time. First with uh, friends and family, mm -hmm. and then other people started liking them. They would go to our house, have it, and they would tell her to make one. So it would just started evolving. But And you make them for special occasions, um, and also for weddings, I think. I think I saw someone picking up their, their wedding cake here one day. Yes, yes there are photos uh, yes. down here. And they are just gorgeous. Um, in any case, uh, well, tell me, what, what are your hours again? You're closed on Sunday now, which breaks my heart, but I understand. <laughs> Siempre estamos diciendo que vamos a cerrar a las 9, pero a veces se nos termina todo lo que tenemos. So, it, it's between 11, it's 11 to 8 or 9, depending on how busy we are. Because mm -hmm. sometimes by 8 o'clock, there's nothing left to sell. <laughs> so, we have to close it before 9. But um, the hours are, definite hours, 11 to 8. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies, thank you Sunday. so much. And you know I'll be back. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. There are a lot of places around town where you can get something spicy today. I know Good Foods Co-op is having a special buffet. Uh, Coba Casino, Brasabana, also having specials, and I expect a lot of other places are too. Did you guys have a good derby? The derby Very day? nice derby, yes. I uh, went to a party in uh, the big city of Scottsville, Kentucky, down in Allen County, uh, in somebody's backyard. It was Because so, the weather was so gorgeous, that helped. But there were over 200 people there, lots of wonderful the way they do it is lots of treats and hors d'oeuvres at mm -hmm. first then we watch the derby and then the meal comes out crazy but true uh but i took my little derby tarts and they were all gone before i knew those it, were so. quite tasty they she did good. actually bring some into the office i and did they were good and i could make those it I was very was. fun lots of mint juleps lots of beer lots of betting lots of food lots of pretty people in pretty hats it's nice did your daughter go to derby um my daughter did go to derby she had a wonderful derby uh she and her boyfriend will were here and we went to windy corner we did we did they did the weed of michelle tour yeah <laughs> um we uh we went to windy corner and uh, just as we were sitting down horses just swept by majestically it was it was lovely perfect time um and then to holly hill inn mm. uh that evening and i would like to have just an iv or you know, maybe a quart of that asparagus bisque to Yum. be buried with me it was unbelievable and uh also uh on sunday they went to smithtown seafood wow they really um, did so, do the whole I mean, it's kind of circuit. like you know, except for maybe wallace station i i, I think they did everything good for them <laughs> good for them well i uh also managed to sample the mint juleps i went to derby and tasted the new old forester mint julep which you know i was kind of surprised at it was better than i thought it was going to be i'm not a huge mint julep fan did not like the early times version but the old forester one tasted a lot more like a real mint julep or so i thought because then later on i tasted the thousand dollar mint julep that's that you know it wouldn't my version was not in a silver cup so not a thousand dollars and does it come with gold flake or what? <laughs> not this What's time. That? What not makes this it time. No. Well, it's for charity. That's why it's a fundraiser. Fundraiser. That's what makes it. But it's made with you know real mint and and real ice and 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 real good bourbon. And that was really 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 good. And you know I, that was my mistake. I should have stuck with 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 the one that I had early, and and then I would have said. So you were ruined. Basically, yes. Yeah. From now on, we're only thousand dollar mint juleps for Janet. <laughs> I guess so. Or yeah. not at all. Yeah, exactly. So I guess we know where that's going to come down. Yeah, it was done ruined mm -hmm. for your, your mm -hmm. dollar mint julep. That's all right. right. Um, Cheryl, I usually go to you for new restaurant news, but yes. you have some closings this time. There is a closing. Uh, A&W and Long John Silver's at the corner of Main and Walton is, uh, is closing. And uh, it, it's sort of a notable restaurant. It has been there forever and ever. It was even rebuilt after it burnt a few years back I remember and that. it is notable on um, this end of town because it has its own stoplight coming out of the uh, the yeah. parking lot so it's it's probably a great location for another restaurant uh, a and w which has opened several other uh, all american restaurants in lexington says that they are up to uh, to continue to expand their presence in lexington so we'll see what they do so they're not going to build an A and W back there, though. It's going to I'm, be something else. I'm not else. sure that they are. The lease has run out on that property. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. It sounds like it's going to go in a different direction then. Um, well, speaking of a different direction, this weekend starts the Lexington Craft Beer Week, which is really more like ten days and not just a week. Yes. Uh, it kicks off on Friday with the Lexington Legends game, but probably more importantly, it's the release of Country Western Three, Volume Three 
This is the third year of a collaboration brew with Country Boy Brewing and West Six. And this year's version is kind of a nod to um, Mayday Pie. It's going to be made with cocoa nibs and roasted pecan. So it should taste we'll kind of like a, a pie. I think it'll be pretty so good. good. During Wednesday's paper, all about Craft Beer Week and all of the restaurants. There are a whole lot of restaurants that are part of this now. It's not just about just drinking beer. We have Con County Club, Winchell's, OBC Kitchen, Brew Burger Bar, Chatham's, Drake's, Pazzo's, Old Chicago Pizza, Pies and Pints, and then a lot of food trucks all have events linked to Craft Beer Week. Uh, I know Winchell's is having a, a big beer dinner, so I, you know, check all those out on the schedule. The whole thing winds up the next weekend with the Alltech Craft Brew and Food Fest, which is in Heritage Hall, which will have tons more food, tons more beer, something for everybody. There's a lot more going on in town besides beer, though. Uh, Sally, uh, you have some options for Mother's yes, Day. Yes, Mother's Day weekend coming assuming up Assuming your mother weekend. doesn't want beer. Right, exactly. Lots of places in town that are offering specials. Wild Times has a chef's table brunch that comes with mimosas for Mother's Day. Very nice. Yes. Um, Copper Copper Roo, sorry. Of course it's Roo. Sorry. Um, is having a Mother's Day brunch as well. Um, Natasha's is having a Mother's Day bank, what they're calling it, with a strolling violinist. Oh, wow. Bryce Farrar. How lovely is that? Three Toads Farm is offering gift cards for moms down at the farmer's market. Um, Azure is having a Mother's Day brunch. Brasabana is having a special menu for Mother's Day. And it goes on and on and on. And we have all these details in the Lexco E column. Yes. That'll be in Wednesday's so, paper. So find a lovely place and take your mama yeah. out. Remember she your will mom. She appreciate it. took you to Holly Hill Inn. Exactly. She will appreciate it. <laughs> and Lexco E. Lexco E. Lexco e.